Alrighty. So, typically, whenever a new game comes out or gets announced, I tend to just play it. Whatever, I don't really put out any thoughts on it. However, maybe it's just, like, my news feeds for games um, and stuff like that. But I haven't heard anything about this game. Um, like, pretty much at all. I saw it get announced at the Summer Game Fest. But that's it. This is, of course, me speaking about Mecha Break. Um, it's not out yet. It doesn't even have a release date yet. However, I will say that they've had a few beta tests, and this is like the closed beta test. They call it closed, but all you had to do to get into it is watch 15 minutes of a Twitch stream, and you get a key. That's cool. And I think as of tomorrow, it turns into open beta, but I've been playing this nonstop. Like, it's a problem. This game is probably my favorite game that I've played this year, uh, you know, 2024. And it's not even out yet. This is just a test, which is insane to me. So if you don't know what this game is, if you, it's basically a team of 6v6, and there can be one mech of each type on each team. And there's different game modes. It's essentially like a... This one is almost like Capture the Flag, kinda. I don't know how else to describe this one that's on the screen right now. Essentially, you get the data card and you take it to the rocket and you get points for that. There's another one that's essentially Domination where you have to hold the points. Uh, there's another one where you have to get rid of all the stations and uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but you're basically destroying these things and getting points for it. Then there is Escort the Cart, and then of course there's your typical, I believe, uh, 6v6, just Firefight. Now, of course, in any of these games, when you play them, anyone plays them, um, you're going to have a favorite mech or hero, if it's like Overwatch or whatever you want to call it. Now, I, I have my own favorite, but I have played... A little bit of all the mechs and I can I can say that they're all fun in their own way it's not like in overwatch if you play mercy you only heal which is what it felt like now there are some god tier mercies out there don't get me wrong and they can you know they can hold their own but for the most part it's like you load up mercy and you're like okay I guess I'm healing all day I'm a pocket healer that's what I'm doing whereas in this game I believe the name is Panaka, or I think it might be Luminous. Both of them are crazy. They both go hard. So, like, Panaka can throw this healing ring, or repair ring, around the other mechs, and it creates a shield, and then when you shoot, it shoots from the healing ring, so you can knock people away from the person you're healing. Um, Luminous has all healing abilities, but you can press a button and swap them all to, I guess, hurt abilities. I don't know how else to call it, damage type abilities. Um, with that, there are a plethora of mod parts. So that's one thing that like games like this, because uh, this game would, I guess, most similarly be compared to Overwatch. In Overwatch, you sort of just pick the hero, and you can change your skin, and you go in. With this one, there's actually mod parts, so you can open up different crates that you get from just playing the game. And you can add little mods. Nothing major, but you get, I think, maybe 15 mods per mech. I think it's three parts per, like, segment, and there's, like, five segments. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. Anyway, there's there's a plethora, and I've seen people play healers as damage dealers in this somehow. I don't know how it's done, but for instance, like Panaka can just put the shield on her on herself itself. It's a mech, it did whatever. Puts the shield on itself and then just runs in and steals kills people that are low and it's just annoying because when they have the shield on they're healing and they can't get hurt it's really ooh, it peeves me off but it's really cool to see you know what i mean and then it's like you got panther 
he's like melee only pretty cool um at at least or at worst he's annoying to deal with at best he is like the ace of the team like he will just speed through and take down everyone that's low and that it's just amazing to see that um there's also paints so right off the bat you can buy paints uh not with like real money it's just like the in-game currency that you get from playing leveling up and stuff you can just unlock any paint and paint like pretty much any part of the skin i believe the one that's on screen right now is my one that looks like the eva like evangelion um but besides that there's a gold currency i believe that will be like for microtransactions um i'm not confident on that i don't know i don't know they gave me a thousand of it to start with and i spent it all on special paints and the special paints are like damaged paints and i guess different patterns and stuff like that that's cool uh you get to customize your character pretty thoroughly even though you only see them in like two animations <laughs> So far, which is also pretty cool. Um, let's see. I don't know. This it's just a great game. I don't see anyone talking about it. Uh, I barely see anyone streaming it. But it's just maybe it's just none of my content creators. I feel like I had to at least share my experience with this being probably my new favorite game this year, and I am going to be upset when this playtest is over because I have no release date to look forward to as well as I'm just I want to play more I want to play more there's so many mechs to like play from there is I am terrible at Aquila I oh my god I suck at Aquila I I don't even know how to explain it I feel like I just sit in the sky and die but he's made to just hover above with a heavy sniper and snipe down. There's another sniper called Narukami. That one has stealth. I'm much more suited to that one. You just sit like you can grapple hook to a wall and go stealth. It's pretty cool. Tricera turns into like a mobile fortress where you just very slowly, might I add, tank around and then you just set down. And you have like four guns, it's pretty cool. Then you got Stego. Stego reminds me a lot of Bastion. But yeah, honestly, I don't I don't know how much more I can talk about it. It's just it's a playtest, so all of it's not out yet, but it's just it's just phenomenal. It's great. Um so yeah, if you want to stick around and watch the rest of this little gameplay, I have tons of footage. Um I'm just gonna leave this I'm just going to put in a few different gameplay clips of me playing different mechs. Node A captured. 